In this video, you'll learn what flow is and how it works. If the technical information that will be presented in the first part of the video seems to be too complicated, we will include time codes with which you can go to the section you are interested in. Subscribe to the Krypton channel and let's get into it. In 2017, Dapper Labs released a CryptoKitties game built on Ethereum blockchain. There you can breed, collect and trade NFT kittens. In a short period of time, the game became so popular that it became a problem for the blockchain network. It was difficult for new users to understand the details of buying cryptocurrency, how to buy tokens, how to top up a wallet, what is the gas price, and many other basic questions. The user experience turned out to be extremely unpleasant, and the workload of the blockchain increased to a whopping 1.3 million transactions per day. Dapper Labs realized that the Ethereum network was not quite it for the company ideas. The solution to the problem was to create a new blockchain that would meet all the requirements. This is how Flow appeared, a fast, decentralized and convenient blockchain targeted at the mass consumer and offering convenient payment tools for easy and secure transfers of real money into cryptocurrency. What makes Flow so unique and unlike other networks? First, it is a multi-role architecture that can scale the network and serve billions of users. A simple and secure programming language of their own, Cadence, pipeline method that optimizes and increases the efficiency of processes, a SPOCK data validation protocol, general state of all smart contracts, and most importantly convenience for both developers and consumers. And now let's try to figure out how everything works and what is it needed for. To begin with, the key idea behind the flow architecture is to separate simple tasks from the complex ones. Simple tasks are called subjective or non-deterministic, such as the process of finding the consensus. Such tasks can be performed on a PC, since solving them does not require lots of resources. Complex tasks, on the other hand, are called objective or deterministic. For example, those are computations or block formations, and they require some serious computing power. Therefore, such nodes are computed on servers and data centers. Let's say only one player is playing football. During the game, he needs to score a goal and at the same time keep his goal, so as he doesn't get scored. Clearly, one player can do it all successfully, and now we'll add the goalkeeper and the rest of the players who will try to score the points. First, the number of players can be increased, since we distributed responsibilities. And secondly, it will make the game easier because everyone has their own task. Now let's talk about the multi-role architecture of Flow. The blockchain is designed in such a way as to divide the miners or validators task into separate functions to improve the optimization and the speed of the network. For better understanding, let's take a look at how transactions are processed. After a user sends a transaction, collection nodes that are responsible for improving efficiency form groups of transactions and pass them to the consensus nodes. Consensus nodes, those providing decentralization, collect the first version of the block and pass it to the execution nodes. Execution nodes providing speed and scaling form the final version of the block. Verification nodes verify the execution nodes are functioning and reject any incorrectly assembled blocks. If the block is assembled correctly, then the consensus node added to the blockchain. Moreover, as soon as the collection nodes have transferred the data, they begin to assemble new transaction groups. Let's imagine the production of cars. If one person completely assembles a car, then it will take a huge amount of time and resources, and increasing the number of workers will not speed up the process. As a result, it is necessary to distribute tasks between the workers, so that each of them performs a specific task, and after completing it, switching to a new one. This pipelining method optimizes production and makes it continuous. In Flow, consensus or agreement is achieved by using the hotstop variant of proof-of-stake consensus algorithm. Proof-of-stake works by transferring tokens to staking, that is the resource is not computing power but the amount of assets. In simple words, the larger the size of your deposit sent to staking, the greater the chance that your node will generate the next block. The advantage of proof of stake is that it will take a huge amount of assets to attack the network. It is financially unreasonable and as a result the attacker becomes a victim of his own attack by having so many tokens. The Hotstuff protocol is similar to the PBFT consensus protocol in the same fault tolerance, but with an important difference. PBFT uses a grid network, while Hotstuff uses a star-shaped one. This allows the nodes not to interact directly with each other, which in turn reduces the complexity of the connections. Since Hotstuff have the same structure of confirmation phases, Flow uses a more perfect option. When the phases are conveyed, where each subsequent phase contains confirmation current, it works like this. After the validators have voted, the leaders collect the votes into a quorum certificate named QC. Instead of fixating in advance, the first leader passes the certificate to the next one. 
the second adds his proposal and also passes the certificate further on. Essentially, each leader delegates their responsibility for confirmation for the next leader. Only after the certificate is sent by the fourth leader, the proposal becomes fixated. In other words, the proposal is implemented into the blockchain after the fourth phase. In turn, the second proposal is fixed by the end of the fifth one. When new blocks are mined, honest miners have a dilemma whether to check the validity of the transaction or accept it without checking. Verification consumes resources and ultimately slows down miners. As a solution to this dilemma, Flow uses the SPO CK protocol, with which the execution nodes and verifications to receive payments must provide the results of their work to third parties. These results can be obtained by executing all transactions given to them. Another important difference of Flow is composability. This is achieved through a single state of all smart contracts. If existing resources can be used as for building blocks for new applications, then the platform is composable. This aspect is important because it allows developers to do more with less effort, which in turn can lead to faster and more complex innovations. A simple example, your construction company was offered to build a house, a condo and a factory. It will be faster, easier and cheaper for you to use bricks for all of them than if you produce different materials for each building. According to past experiences with Ethereum, Dapper Labs has made flow development more developer friendly thanks to first the built-in logging functionality. Since storing the complete log of an entire blockchain is an extremely voluminous task, and flow transactions that can generate an entry log stand out. That means that the user doesn't need to download the entire log to acquaint with it, he just needs to request the data in the blockchain marked with a specific topic, and then run them locally. This will generate the chain of events he needs. Also for development, a new convenient resource oriented and most importantly easy to learn program language Cadence was invented, created for writing smart contracts in the Flow network. Fast deterministic finalization. From the user's point of view, who we both are, finalization is the capture of a transaction on the blockchain. In Bitcoin, this requires 6 block confirmations, which on average takes about 1 hour. In Flow, about 10 blocks are required. Since at the time of creating the video, the average block time was 2.7 seconds, in total it will take 27 seconds. It was also an important decision to provide an open source code for such tools as Flowgo SDK, Flow JavaScript SDK, extension for Visual Studio Code, and Flow Playground GUI. And what about users? User friendliness is provided by the simplified and welcoming entry into the world of cryptocurrencies. This makes it possible to not be distracted by such questions as the price of the gas, how to transfer cryptocurrency from the exchange, and many others. Payment tools simplified interactions between services in the Flow ecosystem, increased security and account recovery functions are all contributing to it. All this makes the user experience as pleasant as possible. We just need to download the extension into our browser and buy cryptocurrency using a credit card. And then just do what really matters. For example, at the moment, more than 1.7 million unique wallets are registered on the Flow network. Like the network itself, the Flow ecosystem is developing rapidly while collaborating with big brands. And there are decent projects built from scratch on this blockchain out there. We will not analyze the entire ecosystem, otherwise the video will stretch on for several hours. We will just get acquainted with some notable projects. The first and most successful dApp built on the Flow blockchain is the NBA Top Shot which is still in beta, but it has already gained an immense popularity. At the moment you can collect and trade moments of your favorite players. Such a NFT represents a video of a notable moment that a specific player did and statistics about the match. The number of transactions on the marketplace already exceeds several millions. Another similar project is being built on the Flow blockchain, only it's carried out by UFC. The Apper Wallet is designed for quick and convenient access to the apps that are based off Flow, such as NBA Top Shot. This wallet is manufactured by Dapper Labs and supports both the Ethereum and the Flow networks. Dapper Wallet simplifies the acquaintance of new users with the world of blockchain technology. Buying cryptocurrency comes down to a simple payment with a credit card. Also, it is worth noting the collaboration of Animoca brands. A brand known for such projects as Sandbox, MotoGP, F1 Delta Time, Stargirl and others. This will develop the metaverse, attract new communities and extend developers possibilities. BlockToSwap is a decentralized exchange built on the Flow blockchain. This DEX allows you to buy and sell tokens, in particular Flow, provide liquidity and use Teleport for moving USDT from the Ethereum network to USDT that is teleported for exchange for Flow or FUSD of the Flow network. The exchange also has its own Blockto wallet, which is similar in functionality to Trust Wallet. One of the differences is the use of special points to pay commissions. Partnerships with Circle, Binance, Ubisoft, Samsung, Warner Music, NBA, UFC, Dark Country and Enemy Metal Games. 
NFT Viv3 and OpenSea markets and many other projects that will lead to development of both Flow and other companies. Now let's talk a little about the Flow token. Flow is a native blockchain token designed for multiple uses, for example like ETH on the Ethereum network. The total supply of tokens exceeds 1.3 billion and at the moment there is little more than 50 million in circulation. This is due to the fact that these tokens were allocated as staking rewards. In 2020, Coinlist hosted the community sale and the Dutch auction when 100 and 250 millions respectively were allocated. You can find a video about token sales on Coinlist on our channel by the link in the description. The price for one token was 10 cents on the community sale and 38 cents at the end of the auction. The first sale where the purchase limit was $1,000, 50% of the tokens were locked for a year and other 50% will become available during the next year. The second sale which presented 250 million tokens were blocked for one year. This indicates that a large number of coins will be soon available for trading. Currently, Flow can be purchased on OKX, FTX, Huobi, Kraken and some other exchanges. Since the token is a cryptocurrency with low inflation, it is intended to provide advantages in additional assets for both DeFi and new tokens created on the Flow blockchain. Pipeline architecture and task distribution between nodes of different capacities provide high scalability and increases the throughput of Flow. This allows you to serve more users and applications in a matter of seconds without overloading the network. Because of these capabilities, features and conveniences of the blockchain, Flow has become attractive to big brands such as NBA, Ubisoft, UFC and many others. Flow provides them an easier entry in the world of blockchain technology with a good development perspective. In most cases, applications on the Ethereum network are casinos with the simplest gameplay. Flow on the other hand makes it possible to create more dynamic games with good graphics, which only will get better with time. At the moment, Flow is the best solution for the apps and NFTs. Subscribe to our channel and our social media, all links will be in the description.